Hello everyone and welcome back to another Fantasy Wax Melts new releases video. As always, I am very, very excited to go over all of the new releases and the new collection. There is quite a bit to share here and as you can see, it is a new Harry Potter collection, which I'm very excited about. But before we get into all of those scents, I do have some information I wanna share with you. So if you do not follow our Instagram or our Facebook page, first of all, Go follow our Instagram and join our Facebook page. Um, I would really appreciate it, but I have posted some information regarding our wax. So since we opened, we have been using 100% soy wax. And over the like year or so that we've been open, I guess year and a half now, um, I've just grown to not really love it as much. There's many reasons why I don't love it. First of all, it's super easy to work with and everything, but the frosting on the cups, as you can see here, I have um, soy wax used in this cup. This frosting has always kind of bothered me. It's a, co a cosmetic thing, like it's nothing that affects the wax, affects the throw or anything, but you know, when I see it in haul videos or when people post pictures, I almost, I just wish it looked a little bit better. And then I always have wanted to make larger sizes of items. Um, and not really see that frosting and also the soy wax when you cut it it tends to really crumble so making a larger size of an item and expecting a customer to cut it and then it just crumble isn't exactly something that i wanted so i've been doing a little bit of research over the past couple of months and looking into waxes um you know that both worked for us and worked for the customer and i have found a beautiful parasoy blend that we have started using so the use of it is gradual because we still have a ton of our 100 percent soy wax we buy wax in bulk so we get it in like 45 pound increments um so we still have quite a bit of soy wax to go through but so some of this collection and some of the items you may receive in the future from like course, core collections and things like that may still be in the 100% soy wax, but we are slowly trying to use that up and then making the switch to the parasoy. So the larger items that I have here, the four larger items are in the new parasoy wax. Um, and yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to say about that. It shouldn't affect you at all as the customer. Um, no changes are really going to be made as far as pricing or anything. Everything is relatively the same, but I did just want to let you know. So let's get into the on, on into the collection. So if you've been with us for a little bit, we have been doing Harry Potter themed collections. We did a Sorcerer's Stone collection. We did a Chamber of Secrets, and now we are on our Prisoner of Azkaban collection, which I'm very excited about. I'm also a little sad because as the movies go on, the colors get darker and darker. So picking colors that like match the themes of things is very difficult. It's a lot of gray, it's a lot of brown. Um, but the scents, I'm always very excited about. I feel like with these Harry Potter collections, I try to pick some of my like, it's hard to say favorite because I pick my favorite scents for every collection, but like some of my top tier faves, my S tier faves. So let's get started with the cups. These are all in the 100% soy wax still, and I'm not going in any particular order. I am just grabbing. So the first one here is Patronus, which is a white wax with some really pretty, these are like holographic silver and blue and purple and white glitter because I really felt like with a Patronus, I wanted something like blue, purple, light, and airy colors. So the scent for this one is oatmeal cookies with icing. This smells really good. So you can definitely smell the baked good like cinnamon oatmeal but you do get that like hint of like sweet cream frosting on top oh this one smells amazing so this is patronus oatmeal cookies with icing the next one i have here is night bus this is our only blend out of all of these scents i'll explain it as i go through each scent but some of these scents i feel like would be perfect blenders for other items so i'll explain so this is night bus we did purple and red because those are the colors of the night bus and i feel like it's really really pretty the scent notes for this one are hot orange danish and fresh coffee this is a blend that i absolutely love i knew i needed to make it oh the orange and the coffee mixed together is so divine if you've never smelled anything like it I promise you, you're gonna love it. This is not our dark roast coffee. This is just a, I would say more of a lighter roast coffee because I feel like with the orange, I really wanted it to blend really well. And I think this is amazing. So this is Night Bus, hot orange Danish and fresh coffee. The next one I have here is Shrieking Shack, which I love this one. So we did brown and then like holographic kind of glitter on top to kind of give it like a light snow dusting effect. 
since in Prisoner of Azkaban, when you see the Shrieking Shack, it's like covered in snow. So that's really pretty. The scent for this one is Pie Crust. Okay, this is one of those ones I feel like you could totally mix with any bakery scent. You could cut this up and mix pie crust with anything, or you could melt this on its own. It smells amazing. A really good base bakery note. This is one I've been wanting to do for a while. I finally found a fragrance oil for this that I love. Oh, this is so good. So this is pie crust. This is Shrieking Shack. Okay, next up I have Dementor, which I love this one. Did kind of a deeper gray with some like black and white glitters on top here. The scent notes for this one I think are kind of funny because they kind of remind me of Dementors. Like it gives me like that vibe. So it's rain mist, wet stone, and sage leaf. Oh, this is so good. This, I know everybody's noses are a little bit different and I don't want to say it and somebody get this and then be like, that's not what it smells like. But to me, it almost smells like the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Just like a little bit, just a little bit. Maybe just get it and let me know if you think I'm crazy. I might be crazy, but oh, it smells so good. That It almost gives like an ozone vibe, like very like water, masculine, outdoorsy. I really like this one. So this is Dementor, white, white rain, rain mist, wet stone, and sage leaf. Next, we have Hippogriff. This one is white with some brown glitter. And the scent one, oh, the scent for this one is so exciting. So we did a regular lemonade scent last year with our Dumbo collection, like right around this time as well. Y'all, this is pink lemonade, and it, I'm not even kidding you. It smells exactly like pink lemonade. Like, it's exactly like pink lemonade. Oh, I could, I honestly think I might make a loaf of this one for myself. It's so good, so sweet, so refreshing, but you still get that like lemon scent. Oh, it's wonderful. Pink lemonade, this is Hippogriff. And then our last cup that we have is Time Turner, which is yellow with gold, which I thought was really pretty. So Time Turner is lavender mint, which I really like. Okay, so I feel like this one leans very heavy mint. And then like on warm, you get like little hints of lavender. Again, that's just to my nose, but I really love this one. Very soothing, almost could be a really nice nighttime melt. I really enjoy this one. So this is Time Turner, it is Lavender Mint. And now let's go ahead and get into the fun shapes. So with all of our Harry Potter collections, we always do a clamshell. So this is Martyr's Map. Oh, this one is so good. So these are all in the new Parasoy, so I'm really excited about this one. This is in Pumpkin Bread, if you couldn't see. Oh, beautiful, look at that. So pretty, it looks like the map. No, it doesn't look like the map. It's just red and brown, but still. Ugh, pumpkin bread. I know, I know this could be considered a fall scent. I know, but I needed you guys to have this. It smells amazing. And like with the past Harry Potter collections again as well, I'll just simply note, um, we aren't able to make as many of these shapes and things as we are the cups. So there is a limited amount of all of these right here. So Martyr's Map is a limited amount Pumpkin bread, oh my god, it's so good, you guys. It smells amazing, very like cinnamony, pumpkin-y, bread notes. It's just phew, everything. So that's the clamshell martyrs map. Next, we have the snap bar here. I did, if you've gotten our snap bars in the past, I have gotten a little bit bigger bag. So there's just an extra inch here because I just, I don't know, I felt like they were too tight last time and I wanted that little extra inch. So this one is white with some really pretty like Gryffindor color. Glitters on top, this is Professor Lupin. And it's funny because I feel like this doesn't look like the scent at all, but that's what you do when you, go, when you do themes, you know? So the scent for this one is Mango Sorbet, which I really liked. I was gonna do some sort of chocolate or something, but we did chocolate in the first Harry Potter collection. But this is like the most perfect, fruity, like get you in the mood for spring, summer scent. Mango Sorbet, it's amazing. You get the ice cream notes, you get the bright, fresh mango. Really love this one. So that's Professor Lupin Mango Sorbet. And then we have Sirius Black, which are two paw prints, or two paw prints, yeah, two little paws. These are so cute in this like gray color. Love this. So we are doing a two pack of these. Again, this is Sirius Black. The scent note is a blueberry lemon donut. I'd be loving some donut scents. Blueberry lemon is such a good combination. It's the perfect mix of fruity and bakery. I love this one, I love it. So again, these are two packs of Paw Prince and Sirius Black Blueberry Lemon Donut. And then last but not least is a, well, I guess that's a new shape, but this is a new shape that we'll be introducing to our shop. This is our bunt. I'm not pulling anything out because I don't have gloves on or anything like that, but these are our bunts, they're huge. 
They weigh roughly like 3.4, 3.5 ounces. We did it in all brown. This is Hogsmeade. Again, I feel like this is a scent you could totally, well, you're gonna need to cut this up anyway. Cut it up and mix it with anything. Um, again, with this new wax, I do recommend if you're going to cut, I would say these, not the paw prints necessarily, but this in any shape bigger. I would put it in the microwave for maybe like five to 10 seconds, and then it should be able to cut like butter. So again, this is Hogsmeade. The scent note is French Baguette. Okay, so in our Mario collection, we did a whole wheat bread blend. French baguette is very different than your average bread scent. It has a... Oh, I just need to smell it. It's such a good, deep... I want to say yeasty because I need you guys to know that because I don't want you to buy it and be like, she didn't say yeasty. It is a little yeasty, but it has like a salty note too. I... French baguette. This is one of my favorite scents I think I've ever done, honestly. It's so good. So, so good. So this is our Bunt in French Baguette Hogsmeade. So that is our Prisoner of Azkaban collection. I hope you guys are as excited about it as I am. I always get very excited for the Harry Potter collections because like I said, I do tend to put a lot of time and a lot of effort into them. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, these releases will go live today, if I didn't say this, March 4th at 3 p.m. Central Time. Um, go ahead and follow us on Instagram, join our Facebook group for more information, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.